What does almost everything man-made in the world have in common? It's something that can be seen all around us, from the buildings that we live and work in, to the cars that we drive, to maybe even something that you have in your pocket. Steel. Almost everything that we use and see is made of steel. It's everywhere and without it, we simply wouldn't be living in the world that we do today. My name's Joanna and I'm a maintenance engineer at the Scunthorpe site of Chorus, Europe's second largest steel maker. This is an integrated steel works, which basically means that we make liquid iron from coke and iron ore before converting it into many different grades of liquid steel. The liquid steel is then cast into basic but solid shapes, which are then sent to individual rolling mills to be rolled into a wide variety of products. There are three main processes involved in making steel, coke making, iron making and then steel making. And each of these three processes generates waste gases which have a value in terms of energy. What we do is harness this energy, collect it at source and then use it all around the works. So behind me you can see a blast furnace gas main which is collecting the gas from the top of the blast furnaces so that it can be used. The two main uses of the works arising gases are to generate electricity which we do at our own power station here on site and also to fuel the reheat furnaces in our rolling mills. I don't think people realise how energy efficient the steel industry actually is, how much we do conserve energy and recycle, which it's, it's an integral part of our processes really. Gas mains are just like any other steel structure, eventually they do deteriorate over time. I look at things like what type of equipment is affected, what exactly is the problem, if it's on a gas main, what type of gas is in that main and what consumers are fed from that main. But the main thing is, how can we carry that repair out safely? The gases do contain carbon monoxide, which has risks in terms of flammability and toxic risks to human life. So making sure that the gases are well contained in a proper structure is our number one priority. Here at the plate mill is an example of some preventative maintenance that I was heavily involved in recently. If you look behind me, you can see some main gas mains this pipe provides coke oven gas to the furnace, so it provides the fuel to light the flares in the furnace itself. Basically, it started to come to the end of its design life and was starting to show corrosion and other signs of wear, and it was also oversized for its current function. So rather than carry out patch repairs, I decided to replace the main with this small six inch red pipe you can see following along here. Uh, this involved rehanging the, the new pipe and also rerouting services attached to the original main because this main will be cut down, burnt up and recycled in the steel plant. Uh, when I was at university studying maths and physics, I never dreamed I'd be working with something as, as big and exciting as you know everything that's around me on the steelworks. A site like this that, that's been around in this region for you know over 100 years, it's absolutely integral to the local economy and there's so many small businesses and contract firms supplying goods and labour to us and also who, who sell on and reprocess our products. It just makes you feel like part of a real community. I mean, this, the steelworks itself is five square miles, so that it's kind of like working in a small village. So yeah, it's really the lifeblood of this town. It, it just feels like home and I can't imagine working anywhere else really. And I think, uh, yeah, engineering uh, sometimes has a reputation of being all about maths and physics and working out figures. But really, it's, it's getting out there and dealing with systems and, and making things better. Engineering is really addictive and, and the possibilities are absolutely vast. You could be working in any industry in, in pretty much anywhere in the world doing a massive variety of jobs. So yeah, I really enjoy it.